Hi Recovery Girls, it's Lynn and um, I want to talk to you a little bit today about a powerlessness. I woke up, um, let's see, it's been almost two weeks ago to a neighbor who texted me early on Saturday morning and said, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's a pile of glass in front of your um, house and your car's not there. And uh, then later, a couple minutes later, he said, your car is in the alley a couple of blocks down with no wheels. And so went down there, the steering column was banged up and we called the police and they came and did a report and uh, no wheels. And it was kind of, kind of on blocks, but not quite. And anyway, um, I have a job too in a school that happens to be um, starting up and that's a stressful time of of year two and so between the car getting stolen and this just kind of crazy stuff at work and um, just general stress in life some relationship issues I that Saturday that my car got stolen um, not this car because obviously I'm in it it's actually my boy's car but um, which had been hit last year by a drunk driver and we'd insurance had paid like probably ten thousand dollars on it so anyway this I feel like this car is cursed that car is cursed but um, so I was just I just wanted to, I just sat down in the alley when after I gave the police report and we're waiting for the tow truck and I thought I want a drink so badly I wanted to go drink right then somebody had handed me a beer or a cocktail I may have chugged it um, and, and it just kind of threw me off guard because I'm getting ready to, or I just celebrated um, a great string of years <laughs> together um, of sobriety and, and I haven't had the urge or the inkling to drink and I did and it was strong and it surprised me and I realized that I am powerless and sometimes we forget just how powerless we are and so we have a choice and my choice was to look up a meeting to go to a meeting and um, and to get some some support from others in recovery and um, so anyway I didn't drink which was great but I'm just reminded how important step one is you know we're really powerless over everything there's uh, there's not a whole lot that's in our power, but um, especially if you are in an addict or um, an alcoholic or somebody who struggles with codependency or what have you, you know, we, we run through all our isms, but um, we are powerless over that. And it's very important for us to realize right away or to recognize that so that we can move through the steps and we can get help. So I just wanted to remind you that no matter how long you've been in this recovery journey, that you may very well be taken aback by um, the urge to act out and so just remember that you're powerless and um, and then work through the steps get a sponsor go to meetings but recognize it and know that um, no matter how long we've had in this recovery journey that we, that we can still be kind of blindsided by life and then by uh, by urges and um, cravings so so I just pray for you and for me that you would turn your life and your will over to the care of God and then watch for the miracles.